So here are five reasons that autism in girls is missed out of the diagnostic process. And if you're an autistic girl and you've been for a diagnosis of autism, you probably have come up short on that. All that plus more is coming right up. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. So you're in safe hands. Don't worry about it. So I get a lot of questions from parents, from autistic individuals, from adults on the spectrum who are like, hey, I'm an adult female on the spectrum, or I may be on the spectrum, or this is the biggest one. I have ADHD, but I think I'm autistic and I'm a female. What is going on? Why doesn't they believe me? Is the world going crazy? Yes, actually, the world is probably a bit crazy, but that's probably not the reason. The reason is very simple. I've listed out five reasons why autism in girls is kind of missed out. I'm going to get right into that right now. But before I do, guys, I just want to tell you about the Ono Roller. Now, this thing is my favorite fidget toy, right? And if you're really into fidget toys and kind of like stim toys, this thing's amazing. Now, Ono actually have a 10% off. If you want to buy your very own one, there is a link down below. Hashtag not spawn, but it is a, um, a link that I kind of get a benefit from. But I use Ono and I honestly recommend it. It's my favorite ever fidget toy. I've got a metal one and I've got this plastic one. The plastic one's like the mini one and I, and I love this because I just like keep it in my hands. It's kind of like just, it's just dead cool. You can take it anywhere you want. Anyway, Ono, oh super dope. It's great. Okay, guys, so the five reasons that mainly autism in females is... Number one is that most healthcare professionals are not trained in autism in girls. And they follow documents based on what they perceive males to have only autism, right? So years ago, like if you go back to kind of like 1942, Hans Asperger, Leo Kenner, all the greats who were writing all this research on autism were like... Autism is in boys and it's not in girls. How could it be in girls? It was just crazy, right? Like, come on, guys. Like, pull our heads out of our behinds and realize that, like, humans are humans, right? And so if a boy or a male can have autism, then a female can have autism as well. But that wasn't the case for a long, long time. And it's starting to change now. And you've got people like the National Autistic Society and Autism Society of America, and they're doing some amazing things to kind of overturn this. But in terms of, you know, the basic dead just like bog standard research it's just missed out all the time and it like it infuriates me but but that's why people are just kind of going and girls are going in to get assessed and they, they instantly think well this can't be anything to do with autism because they're female are you serious oh guys by the way i have new autism alert cards that are on my website which are really cool so if you go to the aspieworld.com and uh, go to the store on there you'll be able to find these autism alert cards they're really cool they're handy to pull out if you uh, need to give anybody information about anything um I think it's really, really dope. But anyway, yes, that. enough of that. Go on with the video. Okay, so number two is misdiagnosed with bipolar disorder. Oh my good God. Like if I had, if I had a dollar every time somebody told me that they, a uh, female, they were diagnosed with bipolar disorder and now they were diagnosed as autistic many years later. And, oh, shock horror, the bipolar medicine and the bipolar therapy didn't help because it wasn't bipolar. Now, bi bipolar personality disorder, I think they actually renamed it to kind of manic depressive disorder or the other way around. I'm not entirely sure because obviously these are kind of mental health conditions, not neurological conditions, right? But that being said, it's so interesting that the medical establishment will go to great length to research things like bipolar disorder in males and females. Yet it was clearly autism and they messed it up. It's like, come on, guys. What are you, what are you, like, seriously, what are you doing? Like, this is why I'm doing this video. I'm advocating for females in the autism spectrum who are not getting the break that they need and the help and the support necessary for the, uh, the appropriate diagnosis, which is infuriating, but it's a thing. It happens. Uh, that's it. Okay. So next is they were misdiagnosed. So number three, misdiagnosed with ADHD. Now this, oh my goodness. Honestly, if I had the dollar for the bipolar and the dollar for the ADHD misdiagnosis, be a very rich man right now and i'd be somewhere in barbados on the beach sipping down mocktails ready to go surfing this is a big one so autism and adhd come hand in hand and i've got my own theory on this right this is my theory my theory is that autism and adhd coexist together that's it they just they, that is it that's that's it. them you, they you have to you can i don't think there are autistic people who don't have adhd is in my opinion so when these people say, ah, oh, this woman, yeah, or this girl, yeah, I think it's ADHD and nothing else. It's like, okay, can we just, can we just, can we just literally just look into autism for a minute? Because it could be, right? Because you can't just have ADHD, but I do believe that ADHD and autism are very married and linked together. So this is another pet peeve of mine because all these people get these diagnoses, right? And they're diagnosed of, with ADHD. And then all of a sudden they go, oh, 10 years later, I'm diagnosed autistic because they missed that out. And I'm like, what, what were you doing for like 10 years? Like where, where is this research being? So it really annoys me. So number four is masking, right? So patients who mask at the assessments 
probably not likely get an autism diagnosis if they're female. Why? Because the assessor is not trained at understanding masking. And what is masking? Well, I've done a whole video on it, which I'll leave a link for down below, but masking is where an individual on the autism spectrum will find coping mechanisms to um, to pretend to be into something. Like, you know, okay, say say you're working somewhere and all the, everyone's like, hey, we're going to go for a beer and some steaks. You come in and you don't want to go, right? What you want to do is go home, put on twilight or, or supernatural and absolutely smash your pizza um and do your journaling right that's what you want to do but these people want to go out and, and so you'd want to be the freak or the person who didn't do it or the oddball or whatever you go yeah cool i love beer and steaks even even though you don't drink right and then you go out and do these things you'll please these people because you're masking in that situation is super triggering because what happens is when that person then comes home they have this thing the exploding kid syndrome right or the exploding person syndrome where they'll go out and mask all day they'll keep all the stuff in because they feel so uncomfortable then they'll come home and they'll explode everywhere they'll have a terrible night nobody wants that it's terrible it's bad but assessors don't understand that this exists and you can see you can spot someone who's masking because are they the actual i think the official term is camouflaging but when you when someone is masking that you can tell that they're acting because that's not what they want because you can ask certain situations in a certain situation and that person will kind of get very anxious because they don't know what to say yes or no because they're making it up right they're just camouflaging this issue that they have and so the anxiety will come to the surface and it will come out now any good trained assessor in autism will see this but females on the autism spectrum are more inclined to, to mask because females i don't know that the female biologically you know of our species want to be more social because i guess that's how they you know how we were as hominids like if you go back you know binary systems of, of males and females on uh, on our species you know the males are more alpha dominant and they want to do things like climb trees and hunt things and throw stones at wild balls and, and i don't know eat steak i don't know whatever right look i'm not an anthropologist but like those things um, are definitely apparent that masking or camouflaging in females is a lot more common than it is in males. And this is why a lot of females get missed off the autism spectrum, down to the trainers, non-training. Okay, so number five is really interesting. Now, this is a societal issue. This is the dismissal of major issues. Now, many parents and professionals will dismiss girls having major issues, which will not give them the referral they need for the official diagnosis. And it really annoys me. It's like, well, what is going on? We have this, like, war on women or something in, like, society. You know, it's what The suffragettes was, like, 100 years ago. I mean, like, did, did you, did, I, what is going on? Like, how are we still have less equality for women in today's day and age, right? So this really, this really gets me. Emily Pankhurst, like, she'd be rising from the grave if she figured out what was going on today. Like, still having oppression of women. And I can't stand it. And it goes and it leaks into all kinds of stuff. Like, I always say this, if you're a disabled female person of color, you, you got no, like, and if you're under 18 or you're, or you're a young person, you're at a disadvantage. And it shouldn't be like that, right? And it really, it like, it infuriates me. But I could spend all day talking about that. But because of those things, people will dismiss female struggles and issues and be like, oh, deal with it. Like, why? Why should the female deal with it? Like, what are you doing? Like, let's just, can we get a grip here and just like advocate for females? For goodness sake, we all have a mother, right? They're playing the hand of God. They give birth, for goodness sake. Can we just please have the decency to give equality to women? And if we overcame that barrier of giving equality to women, we wouldn't have so many people missed out on diagnosis because we wouldn't dismiss their major issues. We wouldn't dismiss the camouflaging. We'd actually say, okay, well, we'll go take you to your specialist. We'll talk to a specialist, see what you need help with, see if we need medication, see if we need therapy, see if we need support, see if we need help, and we'll implement those things. I get really passionate about it, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. So if you're a female on the spectrum, and you want to share this video to help increase awareness, please do so because it will be amazing. And if you're a guy that wants to advocate for the equality of women, especially women on the spectrum, please, please share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Any of the comments are welcome. I read and respond to every single one. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Don't go anywhere. Peace.